Uh, good morning, uh, I'm Dave Watson of Woodland Survival Crafts. Uh, I'm a trainer and mentor in uh, bushcraft and survival skills. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a whistle out of a piece of elder, uh, which if it goes right, should sound something like this. So there's a challenge. So first of all, I've got uh, a length of elder and what I'm looking for is something probably about two centimeters wide not much more but don't know whether you can see here hopefully you can there's uh, a ring of wood here uh, a few millimeters wide and then there's a large amount of soft tissue uh, the pith of this which is around about 12 millimeters wide something around there uh, is a good size so the actual whistle is only going to be uh, a short length but i want to be able to hold it safely so i'm going to have a longer length probably something like that so I'm going to, first of all i'm going to saw this to length so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take out this soft material and i'm going to simply use um, a little screwdriver flat-ended screwdriver and I'm going to go down about sort of four and a half to five centimeters so it's going to go down to about that length and I'm going to scrape the sides I don't want to just get the bulk of this out I really need to have a nice clean channel uh, if you want a nice clean sound about that length now and I've scraped the sides nicely so uh, I'm now going to take a, a piece out of the top to allow the flow of air I'm going to choose this side uh, so it looks right it's slightly the it's not central here it's to one side the the soft tissue or the hole out now so I think that will look right and I'm going to go down just over a centimeter not going very far down. I'm now going to cut a 45 degree angle and opening up the hole inside. Okay, so it's going to look like that. There's a few little bits of debris um, around the, the half circle and the way I'm going to get rid of those, I might lift them up uh, with the screwdriver so that they're exposed a little bit more and then I'm going to carefully take the tip of the blade and just guillotine those off all these little details can make a surprising amount of difference okay that's good so now I'm going to make what uh, is called a fipple, which is basically a plug, which is going to close up three quarters of this area, but leaving an air channel. For that, I want a length of wood that is going to be very tight. Now, I've got a piece of uh, green wood here, the bark being very soft. I'm going to need to remove that first before I measure it. Now I'm thinking it's going to be around this area so we're going to find out. I'll break that off, get out of the way. This is a bit of hazel but there are a number of woods which are more than okay. I'm going to scrape the bark off, I won't actually cut the bark off. So let's see. Oh, we're quite close, uh, a little bit narrower, so somewhere along this section should be about right. All right I'm fairly confident somewhere in this section now uh, will be the right diameter. Oh, there, that's spot on. Um, and the reason why I've said it's spot on is that it's tight I know I could force it in, um, but 
I won't do any more than that. So now I'm going to just take a slip of wood off there, about a quarter of the area, and making sure it stays flat. What I now do, with my thumbs to act as brakes, I'm going to just push this in to where the vertical cut is. Okay, I'm going to check that it's parallel uh, to the, the notch in here, and it's, yeah, it's pretty good. So just checking it works, and now I can saw it off. Cut those little bits off there. And there you have. A whistle. Thanks very much for watching, and enjoy having a go at making an elder whistle. <laughs>